You are right now at our newest listing in Gaarsfontein. It's in Thelma Street, number 710, and it's hitting the market right now at 2.5 million Rand. Come and have a look inside. So, if you guys didn't see it, um, well, you'll see, you'll know it. But today is Monday after the Sunday that the president announced back to level four lockdown and a bunch of things like that. No events. So they're saying no events and a bunch of legislation, which is all probably fair and whatever. We won't go out too much on opinions on that. Um, luckily, we stocked up on beer and wine. But now we're not going to give it to a showers anymore. <laughs> we probably I don't keep think it. We, we will be able to no, have a not, shower. We're not allowed to have a, a, a launch event. But I was thinking, and this is something we should probably discuss now, because we need to get to a point where we make a call on this. But I think, I'm still waiting to hear from Christy from Cozy Living. I said to her, we won't, uh, we won't see it as a problem if they don't want to show, show any, or, or stage anymore because there won't be so much coverage but I also said to them we will do a big virtual show about the house and obviously feature their furniture if they do want to and she said they're happy to still do it the people who they're working with on it is um, begin with the end in mind design with the end in mind I think begin with the end in mind we'll put it below as well but um, these guys um, uh, supply the couches so she said she hasn't, she's just waiting for them to come back. So she doesn't want to put her, their custom furniture without the couches. Oh. It will look average. They're going to plan, they, they plan on doing this tomorrow. Yes. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, we'll maybe even later today. But so, so point is, I said to them, we'll obviously do a big virtual thing. Um, I don't plan on um, moving the event out till in two weeks or three weeks no, time. We, I don't we, think we it's going to even change and we whatever. Need to go to exactly, we're going to market. So what I thought, I couldn't find, I, I tried to research, but I couldn't find any prohibition against show houses. So I'm thinking we'll just do it as a show house event. Yeah, I think we should not, maybe Not event, just, show house. We should for maybe two just or three nights. say... Um, open house. Yeah, don't, it's not an event, don't hang around. Yes. Come and have a look. Come and have a look and leave. Yes. Yeah. I think so as well. So if you're happy with that, I'm ready to set that in motion. I'll go onto Facebook Live now, do a little thing that says that, send that video out to everybody um, who has RSVP'd already. Yeah. Um, try to get them to understand you're more than welcome to come through. And then I thought maybe to spread it over two nights as well. Yeah. Just so to, to Tuesday, Wednesday. Least, least people at once. Exactly. We, we don't want to create have a people super spread becoming event. sick because they were yelled or anything yeah. like that. So in theory, Tuesday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday? Do you think there's a difference? Do you think there's a benefit? I think Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, like, it feels yeah. like maybe if someone can't make it Tuesday, they can't make it Thursday. So maybe... I mean, the chance of them having two nights in a row with yeah. something without being able to go to restaurants is in any way probably scarce. Yeah. But then we won't, we won't accept offers before Wednesday evening or, or Thursday morning then. And then we'll send back accepted offers to yeah. people. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's aim for if you if you still want to come through even after the event. We normally do a thing where we allow for um, post. Uh, even though we we've accepted an offer, we'll accept more offers, and we have a clause that then basically says first to finance their property. Uh, uh, the, the deal first to get finance for yeah so if you're a cash buyer obviously you have to pay in the money into the attorney's accounts but if they if they give uh, get a need to get a bond the first bond approval gets the property um, so yeah as you can hear still on the site a few finishes going in it's Monday we're launching on Tuesday evening we had a very hard long launch planned obviously that's been derailed a bit <laughs> but the um, I think I wanted to get all of this on camera as well because it's part of the business. It's the way we have to adapt certain things and look at 
how we will do things now and what can we move. Um, no, I don't think we can take the risk. Uh, there's a lot of people being sick, especially yes, in the Yes, and, and except for that, um, except for the moral and all of that, we also don't want to do something really illegal and get shut down or, or whatever, you know. So um, we don't want to be the propagators of that whole thing. So um, I think in theory we want to we want to still sell a house. That's the end goal of this. So we'll sell a house. Um, also, don't think because there's not a launch event, this house won't sell on opening night. It won't sell fast. It will. It will. <laughs> it will probably sell on opening and, night. And what we'll do? We'll hopefully get we, multiple offers, like the previous two or three yeah. as well. We we got six offers on one of our previous houses. We got five offers in an, on another one. We got two offers on on Elanor. Um, but I think because I think they knew it was good sold. To say is we, we, we will say we are open to offers. It's not only full price offers, but they do get. We, we don't have to accept everything, but you're yeah. more than welcome to make an offer. Yeah, but I must also say we will probably say, you know, yeah, sure, but last of our last six houses, all of them sold. All of them price. sold at full price. So we'll obviously accept a full price offer way more than a maybe offer. Yes, but uh, and, that's the thing. If we get three offers yes. and two are full price, we're not going to accept the other one that's exactly. not full price. Yeah. So, we'll put it on hold probably. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll probably put it on social media as well when we do receive an, a full price offer. Yeah, well, I how think do we, do that? Uh, we, we don't want to give away what deals we um, discussed with who. So sometimes to sweeten a deal, we'll throw in something to the deal or whatever. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't feel it's fair to a buyer who's putting in a full price offer uh, subject to I throw in a couch into the right. deal to have other people know what we um, negotiated with them. Yeah. Um, so it, all our negotiations are private and to, uh, um, between ourselves and the specific buyer. Um, but so but, I think but the, the fact is we are open to offers. Yes. Just know you, you're lessening your chance to get the property. Yes, and we have. You want to ideally be pre-approved. On all the show houses, we are having a lady here who does pre-approvals. So if you have all your content, uh, all, your, all your like details, she'll even be able to give you a full-on pre-approval on the night. On and, the site, yeah. and, and maybe even um, if you don't have everything and you email it through to her, like the following day. So no, that's the best way. We will have contracts way. and everything here ready yeah. to go because it does happen fast. A lot of people are very sad because they, they lose out. They, yeah. there's, they, there's some people that have tried to buy, to buy multiple houses. We've had one guy who made three offers on a property. No, no. Uh, he was at three show houses. He made an offer on Una Street. And then he eventually bought El um, Elanor. And you know, I so said, in theory, there's a, a lot of... <laughs> mm. uh, and that's um, why we do it this way, because I, there's a lot of people that want make an offer, but then they don't go much further out of the way to get the finance sorted. Yes. And, so and this rushes had, them had, a bit. We've had houses drop on us before where, where the but We sold person, them three times and yeah, then we, we get We finance. sell them, we take them out of the market because we have an a, a offer and that offer just falls through the falls through the floor, floor, then you have to start again. So that's why we do it this way. We keep it open until someone gets financed. It pushes some urgency as yeah. well and try to and, and and then also if you are offer number six, don't think you won't get the house. <laughs> Weird it stuff has happen. happened. It, it has happen. happened before. Uh, Maynard Street that happened. The sixth offer they actually got the house. I think they were cash buyers though, so that made it a bit easier. But um, I think on Una, no, um, offer number four actually had their finance in place first and they got that. So it, it's all flexible. Um, we're yeah, not make, gonna, sure, make sure your, your paperwork is, is right. Yeah, or, or done as soon as possible. And yeah. with the bond originator on site, we, we've been getting um, approvals on offers, uh, on, 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 on finance for buyers within like two or three days. So it really happens really quickly um, if you have all the details. Um, I've, I've had where they... On the same afternoon. The same afternoon they got yeah. an approval. These guys were pre-approved for a different property, right? Yes. And then they, and they just got, got boom, boom. They got approved from the bank 
but then you still have to accept it or buy, pay a deposit into yeah, the, yeah. the lawyer's account. Yeah, you to have confirm to, it. to confirm it. Yeah. Yes. So in theory, um, we're not going to take you through the house completely right now because we're doing that at the end of this video. You'll see a proper walkthrough. Um, so we're not going to bore you twice with the same stuff, but um, a lot of things still happening. It looks a bit more quiet. We, we've lessened the load of guys on this site from 28 last week, uh, we, Friday, to 12 now. And the guys who's on the site now, we've done that because if there's so many guys on the site, sometimes you need it to get a lot of things done. But when you're starting to really finish with detail, you don't want 20 guys walking over you places where you've cleaned you just already and, and that type of thing. So, so in theory, there's a lot of um, work that still needs to happen here. But uh, we've lessened the load to about 12 people, three or four guys in the garden, two or three guys on the exterior of the house, and the rest are busy with finishes inside. So all of these are typically detail finishes, and a lot of stuff that, that are, are, are necessary to take fine care in doing. Um, but we, we've started setting up also for the showers. We'll make a nice fire in the fireplace. We tested it on Saturday. It actually works well. We won't, we've added, no we haven't added, but we've heard of people where they made a fire for a show house and the chimney blocked. didn't work properly oh. and smoked out all the people out of the house. So that's not ideal. So we tested it on Saturday, made sure it works. It works really well. It's actually a home fire's fireplace, so it's actually good quality as well. Um, with this house, you'll also buy a bunch of wood uh, included in the deal. So all the fireplaces and bras are stocked fully with wood. Um, yeah. Is the okay? So, so in theory, practical steps for today, Monday morning. What are we doing? We are making a video for social media to go out to say, "Don't come all at once at six o'clock. Please come different times. Um, no, spread yourself out. Very, very spread yourself to out randomly um, between don't, Tuesday and Wednesday. Don't evening. come in a large group. Yes. You and your wife or whatever. Yes. It's not a party look. anymore. Yeah. We'll hold the party maybe on launch, maybe we'll have a, by, by the time, uh, uh, on, 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 on moving, right? We'll yeah. do a proper, we'll bring you some wine then and if you bought the house and you'll have a proper housewarming, maybe by that time, time this wave will be gone. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, we've moved most of our guys to Elanor Street. Um, a lot of action happening there again, even though it was like closed down last week for pushing here. Number three, um, staging will confirm very soon if we do staging. Art, I'm not going to do art if we don't do staging, but the mm -hmm. lady who does the art the, um, said she's happy to still do the art if we're doing the art. The bond originator is still coming through either way. She's going to be here, she's going to set up a little stall and um, not be in anybody's space or, or whatever. Um, anything else that we have to handle right now? No. No wine, we no have, beer. We'll have to move our well, wine and beer off-site. <laughs> we, we, we've made some offers on properties. Yes, we've made an offer this morning on a property, which has verbally been accepted at 1.2. So we got another 50 off of that. Um, we bought that property. Um, well, essentially. <laughs> I don't want to say bought before it happens. Um, it looks still like at this stage, I'm still busy communi communicating with the guys from Rawson about the property in the Finia Street that we bought. That we have space until, um, uh, well, well that, that they're probably moving out to July and we'll probably be able to have access. It's, it's like between 2 and 15 July, we're not sure exactly when, but we'll start paying occupation rent whenever we get in there and we can open that side up. Then, um, during this time, we've had a lot of time to look at, at George and, uh, and Stalin Boss, and also I've had discussions with some people for Nailsbreit. You and me will have proper meetings on that and, and expansion plans and so on, but obviously still looking for more properties we can buy, your house today in Gaarsfontein. Nelspreit, George, Stellenbosch, we'll see. But um, Pretoria East, we've got investors lined up. We can buy these things now if you've got the right property for us and chat to us about that. Anything else? Nothing right now. I think that's it. For this morning. For Monday yes. morning updates. <laughs> yeah. That's it.
said, these pieces of art, all the wildlife art in this house, is from a guy called uh, John van der Jeffe. That's his Instagram. Can you see it? What you should do, he's done stuff for, I think, uh, National Geographic. He's quite a, um, a experienced wildlife photographer. These seals, he actually took the photos of in, in Antarctica. So it's actually quite cool. What you should do, is you should do this. Big Pond already follows him, but you should go to the button and press follow. So now we are heading over to starting to stage the properties. These are all fake booze. It's like tea and coffee and weird mixes. Funny story is that one of our show houses previously, uh, old Wimmy, tasted one of them. He just took a small sip, put it down, left. <laughs> so this will get some greenery right now. Um, I think that's close to done, this area. Um, I want to do the kitchen and the bathrooms because of the fact that uh, because of COVID and because of all of it being shut down um, events and so on the furnitures, furniture guys asked us to postpone rather to a next house so they're not coming to this house to set up but we will still do our utmost to make sure a place looks good and ready for show so these are still these are sparkling they will go right there this will go into a drawer right now dirty but it's fine now I want to take you guys along on the process of staging it all of these are fake drinks by the way so don't come and steal our drinks they're not worth much in any ways um, what's wrong what's wrong bye okay so so Dupi is weirdly scared of insects Every little thing that flies scares the crap out of him. Fun tip for today. Now, it is half past two. We've got very little time. We need to move with a bunch of things we need to do. See, staging from Pep. This is going to the bedroom. Uh, cookie jar. Let's move some of these gins, gins into the cabinets on this side. So the idea with staging, uh, with styling, is to make it all look and feel lived in and homey and, and all of that. So we try to just stage as simple as possible certain things to get a good look of, uh, from it. Um, so what we'll also do is I have uh, quite a few extra stuff as well. Now, take into mind, this is all not for consumption and not to be amazingly nice. Um, the idea is just to create an idea of, like I said, somebody living in this house or, or an idea of life. So this one will get some popcorn, I think it is. Just cheap, whatever it was. Okay, that's one. See, um, Michelle, I see you are ready for the glorious platter if it comes, yep. like it is already starting. I think that looks like something. There. What do we have there? That shelf will style properly just now in full. Speaker for some music for later tonight. Well, this afternoon in one and a half hour from now. <laughs> No pressure at all. So I, I made a list for last few things we need to get. We, we're going to the shops now in about 50 minutes, people are starting to arrive. So we have to be back in half an hour and continue styling. <laughs> you see 
in the Ace Ventura. <laughs> So it's 15.07 now. Let's see how fast we can get the shopping done. So the time is 15.42. So we took what, half an hour? Way too much. We have an open house at four o'clock. This is the final rush, getting stuff done. We don't have a knife. We've got a fruit bowl. We don't have a knife. We don't have matches either. Hopefully somebody at the site smokes still, who smokes is still there. Um, This is Talri from Bond Gallery. She's a Bond originator for the night. You are right now at our newest listing in Gaarsfontein. It's in Thalma Street, number 710, and it's hitting the market right now at 2.5 million rand. Come and have a look inside. So coming up the stairs, we have this uh, doorway with reeded glass. We also have a pergola, obviously. <laughs> coming in, there's an entrance hall, and to the left of it, we find a, a TV space. I think that would be used as a TV room, maybe a, a separate lounge area. And it's got a corner window with views. It's also an art wall. It's got light shining down from the top, onto some art uh, that you can obviously display. Art not included, it could be though, we can make a deal about with that. Then there's a separate doorway here and there's a pathway going around the house. So this could function really good as a home office. There's also a little balcony area, obviously with reeded glass as well. We've taken this feature glass right throughout the house where we can. And then an additional home office space in here with a bookshelf, multiple plug points, all of that. So great for work from home space. In uh, lockdown and COVID times, we've all realized how valuable a uh, home office can become. Then, now this is why we called this house levels. Five steps going down, three steps going up. Another art display space over here, matte black light fixtures throughout. Now this is what I would use as a dining space. It might not be exactly that uh, for everybody. It might be a separate seating area. Um, as you can see, some more big art spaces, feature pendant lighting, feature dark walls. And then uh, it walks down a hallway to a kitchen. So this isn't a traditional uh, open plan kitchen as we normally do it because of all the levels, but the kitchen and the living area, the second living area with the fireplace is just off center from one another uh, and just on another level. So with the idea that you can still cook and sit in front of the fireplace all at the same time. The kitchen, we've got a uh, solid wooden cabinetry that's painted white, some nice shelving, some feature cabinets and a scullery. Space for two machines, a double fridge, and obviously a separate washing up area. Then some more stairs. So as LaRue discovered throughout this house, this house is not great for wheelchair. It's not wheelchair friendly. It's not made for somebody with a wheelchair. Um, it, it does have a bunch of uh, steps. That's why we call it the Levels House. Now this is the master bedroom. If you go in here, you'll see a spectacular ensuite, which, what I think is a spectacular ensuite. And that's followed by a spectacular shower. Have a look in there. There's also additional uh, vanity space for the ladies. 
and then a secondary vanity space i'm not sure which one would be which but this might be like a coffee station i think something like that might be cool um, loads of cabinetry sliding doors that go out all the way and then what we've marked down here i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on video is a king size bed with usb plugs on both sides as well so space for a king size easily then as i said just off the kitchen we've got this on another level space uh, i think this is a secondary lounge it's a space with a, uh, a fireplace it's i've set it up a bit like a bar area have a whiskey maybe smoke a cigar on the outside if your wife's not okay with that type of thing And then five more steps <laughs> to the kids' bedrooms or second and third bedroom. Both of these kids' bedrooms also have the old frames which we normally use uh, for the cabinets but redone completely on the inside and outside. Pendant lighting and then easily space for a queen size bed. Then in the secondary bathroom there is also a massive vanity just with a single uh, basin and a bath because obviously you need a bath and a shower in a house and then lastly let's go outside So um, coming out to the patio area, there's a nice built-in flower bed as well as a big braai. And then as it works in Pretoria, we have two braais. So let me show you the second one. Massively sloped stand. Um, that also is the benefit, that's a benefit and a bit of a walk. But the benefit is views. Um, and then a secondary boma up here as well and a piece of lawn where kids can actually play with a ball and so on. We created this piece of lawn specifically for that because there's no flat air, there was no other flat areas on the stand. So we uh, created a nice little terrace and then a great boma. Like I said, in Pretoria, we've never heard there's too many fireplaces at this house or, or brides at this house. So the idea is plenty of place to make fire. Now, taking those views, this house is 2.5 million rand. It's on the market right now. It will sell very soon. I probably already have an offer on it by the time you see this video. Let me know if you're interested. Come and have a look at it. I'll wear a mask. You can wear a mask. We'll do it COVID free and you can buy yourself a house to have lockdown and if it comes down to it again. Cheers. Just watched our release of our last house uh, that was Thelma and I hope you enjoyed it we've been taking you along for the whole journey that was season one of uh, daily lives of big pond properties daily uh, life released weekly released weekly every mm -hmm. week Wednesday and we're gonna continue with that even though the season has finished um, because of lockdown we're not at a bar at the moment we're at Big Pond headquarters. But we're in supply. Um, we, have, we have stocked up. Yeah. At least we were stocked up for the open house. Uh, although we can't supply anyone with alcohol, we're not allowed to. We'll supply so ourselves and maybe we, some team members. We are stocked up and, and, and that's good <laughs> news. Uh, as we've been saying throughout the series, I don't know. I haven't had any request of anyone no, wanting to nothing. sponsor us with beer. So we'll do another shout out. Please, someone sponsor us with your home brew or <laughs> whatever brew. it is battery acid and pineapple mix <laughs> yes we'll give it a try we'll give you we'll give you a rating or something but come on 
We can't, we can't be uh, giving these guys all the advertisements every day. The green bottles. Do we yeah, not call? No. We not, we'll, we'll still enjoy but, one. But let's at least open it up, yeah. Yes. Um, so, like Larry said, we're in our office, so we can throw stuff around. Can't do this in beers as much. Uh, and bars. Um, yeah. On to official business. As you would have seen in the video, we have finished with Levels House. It is officially on the market. What has changed since Tuesday till Wednesday, what it is now, we have received an offer. We've received a full price offer. We're expecting another one. So uh, by tonight, when you guys see this, uh, we already have two offers. We're expecting probably something else from the showers as well tonight, but we already have two written offers from last night's showers. Um, so that means you need to move if you, if want you really want this property. house. We have seen people buy houses after the sixth office so if you still want it you can still come through if you're seeing this fast enough come through to the showers tonight i will also have it live on facebook instagram and youtube then for the levels house we want to give a bit of a shout out to a few people who collaborated on it on it with us uh number one uh cozy living just a quick one they didn't end up putting furniture but they were willing and they're going to do a next one with us we'll get to the more details on that two the art suppliers they came through for us it's a bit less effort to put the art up uh, Marike de Toy uh, you can tag uh, we're going to tag her and and show her details down below um, it's the second time she's supplied art for us her stuff's really good she's a young artist Pretoria based I think you can buy some of her stuff on her Instagram Check out her stuff. You will see it throughout the house. And also, as I said in the video, the nature stuff, wildlife stuff, that's John van der Jeffer. His stuff was tagged in the video already. Um, Marcel, our videographer, he covered this whole thing for us. So we want to add his shout out to him. Marcel, tag yourself below. Tag your, your, your Instagram tag uh, so people can follow you. And then uh, lastly, one of the big ones, Diewald from Tilelink. They really supplied us well with, uh, with tiles, uh, plumbing, uh, Everything that hardware, we software, whatever. No, no software. Just some taps, uh, tiles. A lot of the finishes you saw throughout the house was from Tilelink. So we'll add their uh, description or, or, or lower third, right? We'll just add their Instagram or Facebook below. Uh, that's no, a wrap. Our, Is that all our announcements? No, uh, our, our teams, uh, uh, yes, our, our construction team, team um, they have been working tirelessly um, to finish this On property. On Saturday evening till Saturday, 6. Saturday, Sundays. Um, so we have to give a shout out to Special them. Special shout out to Aaron who was the head, uh, the foreman on this house. You Power. have met him. You have met him yes. in the series. Power, who's our, who's our secondary, well, who's actually our main foreman, but was on another side, but he came to help out at the end to get a lot of stuff done. And then everybody else. There's a lot of guys. I'm not going to shout out each one yeah, separately. Uh, Duplessis, You'll still, Maria. Oh, yeah. Duplessis, also, we also uh, have to give a shout he's out. Been, he's been dealing with you, your loud voice. All the uh, time. All the time. Most of the series. Uh, he did so, 3Ds for us quite a lot. Yeah. He's, been, saw, he's been working tirelessly as well. Yeah. Um, so that's a wrap for the season. Um, we'll still release a yeah. few videos. We'll still be releasing a type of video every Wednesday. If it is maybe a before and after or what we are up to. Q&A. Anything like that. Question and answers. If you have questions for us, post it in the comments of this video. We want to answer a few questions that we have received throughout the season. How we do stuff. How do we do this? Why do we do that? We want to answer all those questions for you in one video. So if you have any questions, post that through to us on the comments of this video. Yes, and then we have bought more properties yes. during this, this season and we are taking occupation very soon. I, we are it seems like very soon, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure, I'm still waiting for the... Yeah. the uh, well, not tomorrow, it will be on Friday if we do take occupation yes. for the beginning of this month. It seems like middle next month. So we'll see exactly when we take occupation. And we will be documenting that as well, yeah. from start to finish. And throughout, we will also be adding other projects and finishing other projects. But uh, the same as Thelma Levels House, we, we have documented that throughout the series from start to finish. We probably have, 
we have two lined up for very soon. Yes. So the season two will probably entail the renovation of two properties. Yes. Maybe it will be a, have to be a bit longer. Maybe we'll do it quicker. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway, Good season. Cheers on season one. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you need to do. Do whatever you want to do for us. We really appreciate it. If you can, if you can do this, please share this video on Facebook. That will help us tremendously. That's only if you're a super fan. If you are really a big fan of us, please share this on Facebook. If you're an average fan, just like the video on, Insta uh, on, on YouTube. That really helps the algorithm. And leave a comment. Tell us what you think, what you thought of season one, what else you want to see. How can we improve all of that? that type of thing. Thanks for watching. This is the end of season one. Cheers.